I'm so excited! I'm so excited! I'm so excited! I haven't been here in forever! Why am I screaming? I don't know. Probably because I'm excited. So, um, I was gonna put that up there, but anyways, I am at the Lakeland Antique Mall. This is about a 35 to 45 minute drive from around Magic Kingdom area. As long as you get good traffic. If there's an accident, it could take an hour and a half. Just be warned. However, this particular mall has tons of individual booths in which you can get a lot of Disney memorabilia, props, pins, you name it, you get it. Now, if you're one of my friends that likes to shop with me, I'm going to try to cherry pick some items for my whatnot auction this week. It should be Tuesday night or Wednesday night. It should be August 27th or August 28th. So I would just go ahead, if you're in my whatnot thing, just go ahead and bookmark that. If you don't know what whatnot is, I'll put the link down here. You can get a free 15 bucks to spend on the app. It's a lot of fun. It'll be like, okay, I'm auctioning off this for a dollar. And then everybody just bids on it and they're like, yeah. So I'll make sure to pick up some really cool things. It's gonna be hard, but I feel like I've been doing this for a while. So I know a lot of my friends, what they like. So fingers crossed, I'm so excited. This video won't even begin to touch what they have inside of here, but let me just showcase what I think you guys may be interested in. Let's go. Oh my goodness gracious. Have you ever wanted to be Cinderella in the horse-drawn carriage? Well, here you go. If you got the money, this carriage can be yours. Just come inside and make an offer. How would you get this home? How? Like, how? Would you take a horse? <laughs> would you take a horse and would you ride it home? I don't know. That's that's a good question, right? Here is the hours currently as of August 2024. Looks like it's 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day except for Sunday. Just closes an hour earlier. So when you first walk in the store, there's a lot of uh, glass displays right in the very front, which you're going to see a lot of Disney merchandise, a lot of pins. All of these aisles straight down has all kind of vendors, not just Disney. Now, one of my favorite vendors is basically when you come into the store, you just pick any aisle, go straight all the way down, and hang a left. Now here I am at the very, very end of the store. There's a booth here, but if you immediately hang a left, there is tons and tons of merchandise. Back in this very back area is where you're going to find more of the actual memorabilia from the resorts, all of the Disney resorts and or Universal Studios. Oh my gosh, there's so much to look at. I mean, if you just take a look and just see, there's just so much to see back here. I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on. So I'm gonna have to be really picky and try to pick and choose what I'm going to be <laughs> showing you guys today. <laughs> so I went back to the very beginning of the store and here is a Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights Hillbilly Deluxe Scare Zone 2019 Dragula Car. All right, so this is where I am at. And they have quite a few booths. This is in the front right of the store. The one thing that just caught my eye, since I am slowly but surely becoming a pen person, is they have these Employee Center Limited Edition See if I can zoom in so you can see Belle a little bit better. There's kind of a glare pens. So apparently this is the complete set. I want you guys to pause the video right now and try to guess what the complete set is going for. I have not looked it up on any resale site, but they must be worth some big bucks. There's all of the rest of the set in the back. It's a set of 12. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. You guys taking your guess? Put it in the comments below. Put employee pins. 
Yeah, I think I need to start becoming a collector. This is the type of value that some of these pins have. Ooh wee, I gotta pay for my son's college in a few years. Oh my goodness, and she even has these D23 pins. You know, I'm a big fan of D23, but look at the birthday cakes. <gasps> Are these not the cutest stinking pins? Oh my gosh, yes, I think it's official. I am, I am, this is catching my eye for sure. Now that is a complete set of nine for $549. They even have, looks like the Walt Disney Imagineering lanyard set. Of, oh my gosh, Jaden would freak out. Now this is must be very, very rare. It has the complete set of six. Look at Cookie, all of them. It's $169 for that lanyard set. Woohoo! It's funny because in the same booth, if you kind of take a look around, you see some things that have recently been through our personal outlets like that, like that, like that. There's quite a few things. So they obviously source from all different places. Looks like they probably source at FM Estate Sales here, probably. Outlets. Definitely a big mixture of items in this particular booth. Wait, how does the song go? Florida. $20. Unfortunately, Scrooge was attacked violently for his, his gold. So sad. But still, he's worth big bucks. On a positive note, my son is not here because he would probably go nuts if he saw this. It's $55 for this ticket. It's pretty cool. Disneyland 35th anniversary. If this isn't the coolest thing I've ever seen, not only is it a vintage jacket from Tomorrowland, but it's from Alien Encounter, which was a ride ago because it was, it was transformed into stitch, but look at the detail on this jacket. That's amazing. They have not only one, but they actually have two available in stock, but it is a pretty penny because it's a crazy rare. Another crazy <laughs> universe of energy. Grand opening, October 1996. Disney MGM Studios. Wow. $295. Look at this jacket. The spirit of Pocahontas cast and crew. I don't even think I've ever seen anything like this in my life. I can't even remember the spirit of Pocahontas. And I'm definitely old enough to <laughs> remember. Definitely a sign I feel like they maybe should have more on Florida highways. However, somebody definitely didn't like this sign because it appears to be a bullet hole in it. So this creator definitely has some amazing pieces. Look at this set of Haunted Mansion tables. Wow. They are $430 for the, for the set. Foolish Immortals Tiki style. That's very, very creative. This is your sign if you're out at a garage sale or thrifting. Disney blow molds. The glow molds in general, they actually don't have to be Disney, are worth quite a bit of value. These are actually priced for, at $1.99 a piece. It's by a really cool end table piece here. It's actually from Animal Kingdom Lodge and it's priced at just $85, which I think is a very fair price for something coming from the resorts. This is actually a really great deal. $24.99. This came from a boardwalk resort. So it has been quite some time since I've last done a video here, but one of the things that a lot of people asked me to pick up was like the bed runners and the pillow shams. So this one is pretty cool. This one's actually from Disneyland Hotel, and these are in like immaculate condition, and this is $49.95. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty tempted. I'm very tempted. It's uh, original prop. And this would be great for like Pixar Day at Sea, but it's the original celebration banner. Well, this might just be the cheapest thing you might ever get out of Club 33. <laughs> the napkin and the drinks are 
So one fun thing that they always seem to have a decent quantity of in different styles is the actual ornaments from all of the Disney resorts, Disney property in general. I think I'm going to grab just a few from a few different resorts to auction off on my whatnot because I am down here and let me see what I can find. Let me see what I can find. Okay, so the items that I picked out, I got this cupcake, which my guess is probably coming from Grand Floridian maybe, where they have the gingerbread house. I'm also picking up this one because it's just so cute and I think that this would be a fun piece to auction off onto whatnot. I just have a feeling that this all came from Grand Floridian. It just, that's what it looks like to me. Correct me if I'm wrong. This one doesn't say where it's from, but I'm guessing probably one of the places that have cabins. <laughs> maybe Fort Wilderness. And maybe you can help me out on this one. Where could this one be from? Hmm. I'm gonna get this one. It's a nice little ornament as well. They do also have the original birdhouses from Grand Floridian. All of these are priced right about $13.99. These are pretty cool. They have the Grand Floridian soap dish and then like a longer type soap dish. And then they also have, this one also says it's from Grand Floridian. You got like a tissue box holder, a cotton ball holder, and a couple of trays for $12.99. This is definitely one of the best finds of the day. They have this little ottoman. They actually have two, but it's from the Contemporary Resort. And it's only $34.99. Boy, the prices definitely have gone up a bit on the popcorn buckets. They are down $24.99. I think when I blasted a video, it's been a while. It's been too long, too long. I think they were about $10 to $15. Maybe, maybe $20. <laughs> I don't think they were 25 though. That is a really cool pillow, but man, the price point on this, $95. That is really pretty though. They do have a selection of other pillows that have come from the Disney resorts that aren't so high priced. I think I have this one. This one's from Wilderness Lodge. This one's only $25, so there are definitely quite a few that are here that are much more affordable. Like these, these are all 10 bucks and these are from the Grand Floridian. These are from Wilderness Lodge, those are all 20 bucks. This is really cool, I'm not gonna lie. I love Polynesian, $279. Well this isn't too bad for a original prop from the Boardwalk and Resort Suite. These lamps are just $50. That's also a really good deal. This is a little bit more of an oversized lamp, but this is also not bad. This is from the Wilderness Lodge, and that's just $99. Look how we're handsome again! Hey, friends! That's crazy! I know! I... And it's nice seeing you down here. There's so many good things to buy, but I used to see Liz all the time at the Character Warehouse. Remember we went to Universal Studios? Yeah. Mardi Gras? Yeah. I had a video you were uh, you were throwing beads at people. My, yeah. my son was little. I know. He was real tiny. He and then was, last time I saw him, he was huge. I, I was like, holy moly. I think he was throwing beads in people's faces. <laughs> <laughs> Darting them. <laughs> That's great. So, yeah. yeah, totally unplanned. Yeah. Really cool to see you. It's nice you. when you run into friends at uh, the Antique Mall. I know. <laughs> it's so quiet in here. I know. Compared to like the outlets or Disney, it's just like, ah, and I turn around. Oh, nice hey. little peaceful piece. And I'm sure everybody knows who this is if you oh, don't. Yeah. Well, I'm Nate, PG yeah. Mr. Model. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Good to see you. Nice to see you now. <laughs> so they have not only Disney merchandise, but they have a lot from Universal and Halloween Horror Nights. This is pretty cool for $95. That's very, very unique. Okay, should I or shouldn't I? Should I or shouldn't I? <sighs> I have a Polynesian themed bedroom and they have the bed runner in here for 30 bucks. Tell me no, tell me no. I have a feeling a lot of you guys in the comments are going to be like, get it, Liz, I hope you got it. Did you get it? Did you get it? <laughs> the $30? That, that's a great deal. <laughs> I'm so tempted. They also have the Cozy Cone Bed Runner from Art of Animation. This one's only $30 as well. If you have a... <laughs> oh, 
cabin themed room this actually I find very affordable $125 has the two little drawers here and I don't know what you could put down in here maybe like a little stash away for like a laundry or something I don't know what do you what was oh you know what this might have had a, a refrigerator in here so there you go if you need a if you need a little midnight snack you could get this <laughs> right by your bedside so now that I've been on my first Disney cruise I definitely take note when I see any type of Disney Cruise Line merchandise and they have the blankets here for $98. One day soon I know we'll make it to Tokyo but how cool is this? This is from the Tokyo Disney and Project Team 1996. That is pretty stinking cool and that one is $95. Okay, I'm definitely faced with another dilemma. They have more bed runners. This is the only one that I see from uh, Animal Kingdom. This is a bed runner, 30 bucks. However, they have the Treehouse Villa. They also have Coronado Springs. Man, for 30 bucks is such a great deal. The Cozy Cone one back here is a little bit more. This one was 45. And then over here in the corner, you have the Saratoga one for 35 I'm so tempted to get one of these for my whatnot, but I just don't know if I should. Okay, my plan is to pick up this cute little Tokyo Disneyland cookie tin to run on my auction. However, the plans may change once my son sees this because he's a huge fan of Tokyo and this is pretty cool, so... I'll have to make the decision once I get home. <laughs> this is such a good deal. $5 for this Disney prop tray, but I don't know what resort it came from. It's giving me like maybe the Fort Wilderness or Animal Kingdom or even Polynesian. $4.95. Does anybody know? They also have a couple of the Disney drink flight, the wooden trays down here. For a $9.95, that's a pretty good deal. Nate actually pointed me to this particular booth that had all of these really fun Happy Meal boxes. And this has got to be, what, from the 80s for sure. Back to the Future. They have some Disney ones. I think I'm going to pick up a couple of the Disney ones for my whatnot auction. Tired of someone taking your parking space at work? No problem. Just buy this one here. And this is... $2.99. <laughs> I just recently posted in my Facebook group some of the Trader Sam's mugs that were currently available at the Polynesian, but this one here is selling for $134.99. It's the Disneyland Monstro Whale Tiki Mug. Oh my goodness. I, I think that this mug was literally on my thumbnail years and years ago for one of my YouTube videos that if I'm not mistaken, I got this mug at the outlets. Maybe I'm wrong. But maybe I should start saving things back and saving them for years. Is that an accurate price point? $100 for that mug? Is that what it's going for right now? On the back of it says, boo to you. Man, I could have been a millionaire by now if I would kept some of the stuff from like five years ago. This is a really good deal too. This is a backpack for your droid. I cannot recall the original price points of these. They're not cheap, and they're only asking $32.99. They have quite a few on the shelf. You know if I'm glad or I'm sad because they have this three pack of Haunted Mansion like banners. And I honestly, for the right price, would definitely buy it. Halloween is, well, it is Among Us. But there's no price point on it. I mean, the fact that there's no price point on it, I think I shall leave it behind. Turn the corner. <laughs> They're $18 for the pack of three. So how about I do this? How about I pick up one for me and one set for my whatnot? I think that would be, that would be a fair deal for sure. It is getting pretty, pretty full. So I think it's time for me to go. And you can just feast your eyes upon all of the Universal Studios props. Very, very scary. Well, that one's Haunted Mansion. But it looks like the most of these are from Universal Studios. 
wanted to get back on the road as quickly as possible before any type of accidents or rush hour happen. But uh, I just wanted to show you like a little, my little mini haul. Totally forgot to show you guys. Um, so I know this isn't Disney, but I thought it was super cute. And it was only $2.99. So I was like, you know what? It is that time of year. So that was something that I had to pick up. Don't laugh at my next one here. Do you guys possibly would know what this might be for? Pins! I'm just, you know what? I'm not going full fledged into collecting, but I, I have made the commitment as at least souvenirs when we go places like resorts or Disneyland um, and special things. I don't know. <laughs> but I got it for $5.99. So I felt like this would be like really cool. I couldn't help it but get these. Um, there was actually four of them. Jay, these are really cool. These are really, really cool. We've got, here, let me let me walk back here so you guys can see. So it's, it's like, they're like literally as tall as me almost. They're probably, they're probably like four foot tall. So we've got the tightrope girl. A guy with his underwear. Dynamite guy, the quicksand, it's all, all the portraits inside of Mansion. And the... Uh, this is so cool. And I, I mean, I know that... The old lady. The old lady. Um, I know that these are not, like, from Disney. I can't tell. I mean, I don't think they're from the quality. There's no, like, Disney stamp or anything on them, but... $18 for all four? That's a steal in any way you look at it. So I I got a group uh, as well, and I'm gonna run on whatnot. I think my whatnot will definitely be on Wednesday. I just have too much to prepare for this whatnot show, and it's all Friday Monday evening. So it's gonna take me most of the day tomorrow and probably into Wednesday to prepare for this show. So I will put the link down below so that you guys can bookmark it. Come hang out with me. So don't forget everybody's gift. So have faith and cheers.